Yo, what up YouTube, Rodocat Gaming here bringing you another cryptocurrency related video slash PC gaming video. So the question is, can you play video games on your main gaming computer while you mine Ethereum or some other algorithm with only, you know, one video card? That's the question. Um, why would anybody ask that? Well, I happen to find that out by mistake. And the reason that, that that happened to me is because one time I loaded up Overwatch and I played, you know, a good two hours of it. And after my session was done, I noticed that I left my mining program on. And I didn't really notice any hiccups or any issues while I was gaming. Um, but the only thing I noticed is that my hash rate was reduced and then eventually caught back up once the mining program, uh, the, the Overwatch program was done. So it led me to believe that, hey, maybe there's some something behind this this action. So I made a video, recorded a video showing you real time how this is affected. And I was able to deduct a couple of things. One is that the resolution and the frame rate chosen, it affects the hash rate you know, on the side. Obviously, the more the video card has to work to render games, the less the dedicated hash rate. That's that's fine. Uh, but the, also another thing I noticed is the temperatures are not affected. Uh, so, you know, maybe the card is safe, safe after all. Uh, you know, mind you, I'm playing on a, on a reduced core, uh, reduced power level, but a higher memory clock. So maybe some video games will crash. I think I noticed on another one it did crash and I was able to find out that, hey, Overwatch can handle the higher memory clocks, but not some other games. Why would you anybody? Why would anybody even consider doing so? Gaming while hashing, I don't think anybody should, honestly. Um, and this video was solely created just to showcase the real life implications of doing so. So let me let me show you uh, what I'm talking about. Let me go through this. All right, and here we go. We we're looking at. I loaded Overwatch. I have another screen, and immediately I'm using a 3090. And the regular hash rate that I get out of this is 124 mega hash. So it immediately took a hit to 45. And I believe I'm playing a 20, uh, 1440p resolution here. The, the frame rate is 200 plus um, on, the, on the video game. And yeah, it, it's taking a hit. And it's kind of fluctuating between 45, 71 mega hash. Um, memory, like I said, and temperatures. Uh, look, 200 frames per second on the video game I'm playing with one hand by the way I, I I was playing a live game I don't think I should be doing that so I said hey look let me change the resolution to uh, a 1080p by you know 1080p 60 frames per second how would that affect the hash rate all right well they ch uh, I, I changed it and um, it's not an immediate ha uh, look 60 frames 60 70 frames I think my my monitor is wonky like that but it's not an immediate change like you know you're gonna get your hash rate let it let it marinate for a little bit let it let it uh, let it work it out and then eventually it should go back up look I, I can see it go it went from 69 to 70 but I'm expecting this 3090 with this reduced resolution and frame per, uh, frame rate to actually elevate uh, the hash rate that you can do on the side and um, here we go we're looking at I think the next one is coming up come on give it to me give it to me give it to me maybe now no it takes a little bit but hey here we go 99 so you know what that means it means that my 3090 is able to play overwatch at 1080p 60 frames per second and mine Ethereum at the same rate of a 3080. If you want to continue your operation, your mining operation on your and your main gaming computer, uh, you and you want to maintain a 24-hour hashing, so to speak, right? You can do this. 103, a little bit over a 3080's hash rate. So, it it only took away about 21 mega hash. So. It's it's it took that away and it's rendering the video game at that rate, and let me show you if you go again balls to the wall 1440p uh, 200 uh, what, what am I looking at 240 frames per second just hey get get the mo video game use the most out of out of the vid video card and right now confirmation that it changed we're looking at a 240 frames per second 
and what I should see is a reduced hash rate because the gaming is taking all those rendering calls, all that, um, all that hash power away from from the from the main uh, program. T Rex, I believe, is what I'm using, and and rightfully so. It's working uh, faster. So look, 101 to 65. All right. And what I wanted to show you is how deep or how far down it goes. Um, so let's look at some numbers. 124 regularly. And if I go crazy with my Overwatch game or whatever game I'm using, and I, and I utilize most of it to render the video game, how much do I have left? 32. 32 and I don't even think that's the bottom I think it's still going down even more so you know it's interesting it is it's, it's interesting to me I don't know how safe it is for the for, for the video card I mean these things are pretty hefty if it wasn't safe they would crash and rightfully so and they do do that um, do do that do 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 all right so I think at this point is where where I get that final reading, and then I, I, I kill the game. I think I was messing with like like a life match. 20 mega hash. So it went from 124 to 20. Hey, these guys are just mad at me. They're like, hey, can you focus on this? <laughs> but anyway, so just wanted to show you guys, right? It's, it's interesting. It doesn't mean crap. You don't really have to take anything away from this video at all. It's just... Uh, a little side note on, on the hashing, uh, how it affects um, video games and vice versa. Video game, how it affects the hashing. Should you even do it? I don't think so. But I'm personally going to keep doing it. A 3090 is very powerful. I can, I, I can game and hash at the same time without really losing a step. So part of the my, my goal is to hash 24-7. So if I have this 3090 down for two to three hours... You know that's a few cents. That's a few cents now, and in future money, it's a few dollars. So that's that's how I look at it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video. Please stay safe, and y'all have a great day.